There's a lot of amazing things that you can do. I've done this presentation a couple different times. I have, <coughs> I'll go back and tell you about myself a little bit. Um, my name is Ryan. I am a, you can tell, a Star Wars guy. Yeah, <coughs> do, how much do I love Star Wars? I also love Photoshop. That's not really, anyway. Um, the, uh, um, so I do this for kindergarten teachers all the way up to 12th grade teachers, the idea that we can tell stories and not just watch them. Ooh, did you see that great video? Did you see that great thing? Did you hear that great thing? Did you hear that awesome book trailer? You know what? No, you make them. As teachers, you make them as kids. And so there's a lot out there. So the problem sometimes is, oh, I don't even know where to start. And I saw some of you guys coming in here like, oh, what's this guy? He's kind of crazy and he's got all these props and stuff and this may be over my head. You make it as simple as you want, okay? You can tell a story. That story can be as simple as, uh, I'm a PE teacher and my kids keep struggling how to do push-ups. You know what would be a good way to demonstrate push-ups? Let's record the kids doing push-ups, right? So let me film a kid and say, hey, listen, butt too high, butt too low, butt perfect. Let's make a little video, narrate over the top. You got an upload to YouTube. That is so simple to do. And now as a PE teacher, you have now created your own videos of what they are. You're telling a story of an instructional video. That's an instructional video. You can do tons of other videos. Most of these, a lot of these ideas are st ones I've stolen. And so Jennifer Klosko is doing uh, uh, book trailers. I'm stole her idea, straight up thievery, and I'm going to do some of it right now, okay? And so because there's amazing stuff that you can take from other people, and that's kind of, huh? You won't tell her. He knows her, I think. Right. Woo. Okay. So let's tell stories. So there's so many stories to tell. Now you know you saw I'm a super Star Wars nerdy guy, but even George Lucas, my hero, my inspiration. Look at this quote. He says, <coughs> "I'm not that keen on technology. I'm a storyteller. But to enable me to tell my stories, I've had to develop the necessary technology." He wanted to tell a western, an up-to-date sort of a space-age western, and he wanted to do these fly things and all that kind of stuff. And it's like. That's not really it. I wanted to tell that story. And so he had to ultimately use the technologies and find new technologies that are out there. They weren't available. He had to get guys, young guys out of college, and they were saying, we could do this thing with a blue screen and put things in front of it. You're like, let's do it. That's how that thing all kind of started with Star Wars. We aren't necessarily innovating and doing all that stuff, but from 1970s to today, the tools have gotten so amazing. I hope I don't want to come across as an Apple salesman, as an iPad guy, because my wife would freak out. I am an Android PC guy my whole life, but there are so many devices. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the iPads for today to show you, because I think that of all the devices that are out there, this is the magical device. There is no perfect device that does everything. Okay, but if you want to be able to do a simple device that you can do stuff, you can do it with a Nexus 7 tablet, you can do it with your phone. But the days of us doing, look at the guys around you with cameras. Those things we don't need anymore. The fancy lights, sorry camera crew back there, that's a lot of money, okay? And these guys had to take college classes. We can do it all right here, okay? Guess what we can do with this? You can shoot the video. I can also, afterwards, edit the video, and then what I'm done publish the video, share it all out right here in one thing. That's it. That's it. One magic little rectangle. That's amazing. Then what you need to do then is, I got to be creative. I got to put, I got the tool and I got some really exciting, interesting kids who are super techie. Yeah, they are, but they need guidance. So how do you put those two together? Okay. It's like that old, remember that, uh, for you people who live in the 70s, remember that commercial, the guy walking down the street with the jar of peanut butter, and the other guy walking with chocolate, and then one guy trips, and he's like, whoa, and they go like, you got peanut butter in my chocolate. He's like, you know, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. That is that perfect coming together of those two things. <laughs> remember that commercial? Does somebody remember that one, right? It was awesome, Reese's peanut butter, right? So now, can we take awesome, cool, yes, awesome, cool technologies, your kids are excited and you really want to do something, let's put those two together, let's make chocolate and peanut butter, and make some movies. Let's give kids opportunities to flourish. We all remember these. We used to call this thing back in the day um, projects, right? Project-based learning. Remember this guy from your college? Who dat? <laughs> and remember him? He's Swiss. And he said this, we expand, we learn by expanding our knowledge through experiences generated through play from in infancy. Close. French name. Piaget is right. So this idea of what we used to call constructivist learning or what we can call project-based learning. 
We've always done projects. You guys do projects, right? Like, I, I remember Rutherford B. Hayes. That was my fifth grade. I think we had to do, like, a pick a president. I had to draw him and do all that stuff. Not one of the most influential presidents. But Rutherford B. Hayes stuck with me a little bit, right? We still do these. How many of those? Uh, I, forget that. Here we go. Move on. Move on. Move on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of the stuff that I have, um, did I show you the link at the beginning? I'll do it at one of the breaks. But I had this presentation, I know it's two hours, but we're going to fly because I want to play today because that's what Piaget is about, and that's what this is about. We need to play. So follow along with this later. The University of Houston's got some great stuff about digital storytelling. Straight thievery. I took it all, okay? So 21st century skills, digital literacy, and all that kind of stuff. But we can do these things with everything. We can do projects. We can even do assessments, okay? We talk about... Common Core, and so that's what, like, hey, Common Core, and people will come to your presentation, like, I'm talking about Common Core, like, hey, so what is Common Core talking about? Personal expression, I have to write for a variety of audiences and write with a purpose, and then also speaking proficient and fluent. I struggle with that at times. I almost did right there. So can we do some of these using digital stories? Yes, this is what we call authentic assessments. Hello, what's that? Yeah, you even know the mission? Oh, dang it, should have looked at that anyway. <laughs> so this, ladies and gentlemen, is Piaget in action. It is constructivist, project-based learning. It is all what every fourth grader? So I'm sorry, every fourth grade parent has to <laughs> have a heavy hand in making these things? Yeah, OK. Have you seen this kid? Oh, boy. Check this out. Welcome to Mission San Diego D. Alcala. What is it? I'm somebody Father said. I'm Father Sarah, and I founded this. This is Minecraft. In 1769. It's the first of the 21 California. How many people have seen this before? Out front, what you see are the bell tower. Is the so bell watch tower. what happens. You move it's it around. The Campanario. He made every single brick. Diagonal buttress Every wall piece of grass. For earthquake stability. Stability. Guess Come what I know on, about that though. Come on, I'll show you around. He's working on his fluency. He he's not. He wrote this thing, and look at this, everybody. Inside oh. this Church, there was a Reritos, which is the structure. He designed a 3D right structure. The altar. And the altar? The, over above the doorway, there was a balcony. So now in this, do you think the teacher said, hey, everybody, we're doing Minecraft doorway. projects this year? Most likely, right? Like the mom came along and said, hey, listen, you know, Bobby's really would love to do a Minecraft as opposed to the sugar cube one. And the teacher said, sure, let's see what we can ultimately come up with. This really touches on that common core stuff, right? So instead of who sees that Mission de San Juan Capistrano, me, my mom, grandma, teacher, who sees this? Where, where am I showing this to you, everybody? This is on, this is YouTube. This guy, this kid's got several thousand views on this particular thing, okay? So, and listen what he's doing, too. It's not just a Minecraft project. That's chocolate and peanut butter. How can I make this amazing thing come together? This was a, an, an, an example of, it was a student and family driven one coming up with the idea. Can we come up with those? But these are unbelievable. Like even when you get to the far away, like look at the zoom out on this. This is two dimensions. No, you can do, look at this. When you come all the way out, look at that. This is Mission San Diego D. Alcala. Look at that. Fields in the back. with He's got animals back there. That's an impressive digital storytelling thing. So now, how can we be able to do that? Because you know what you can't do is you can't just say, hey, everybody, let's do some cool projects. Go to the computer lab. I can't wait to see what they're going to get. Right? <laughs> Comment or question? I just wondered, how many hours approximately would that take a kid? Hmm. I'm not a Minecrafter. We can take a look on the mom uploaded that. And there's a bunch of comments on there that I just did a cursory glance. But if you want, you can check that out and contact. Yeah. Um, I had my students, some of my students chose to do that, and so it varies how often they go on Minecraft, right? Like their experience. So one kid said they did it in a day, and then another kid, it took them two weeks. So it really mm -hmm. depends on your hands-on experience with mm -hmm. Minecraft. And how accurate, I mean, how detailed do they want to get it? The kid put books inside the bookshelves, you know? That was really incredible, yeah. And then on top of all that, then he narrated the whole thing. So then he's got to write a script to go with it all, okay? So again, from the University of Houston, the elements of digital storytelling, that you don't have to have all of them, but these are the things that you often see in these stories because they're very open-ended. Can you have an overall purpose of the story, the narrator's point of view, questions, a choice of content, clarity, pacing, a soundtrack, like the kid didn't have a soundtrack on that one. You may want to have a meaningful soundtrack quality images and all that. And so, but the idea that you want them to be able to produce and create something. 
we're not gonna, I was gonna show you guys to do a podcast, but let's, for the sake of time, let's not do that. This is, I, I was in Best Buy a couple weeks back and I looked at this and I thought, oh, it was hilarious. And I took this photo. Because this is, it's, you go to Best Buy right now and you can get this. 69, 29, that's a good deal. 80, 130, 130. These are the programs you can buy to make movies. Do not buy any of these, they're garbage, okay? This is all, this is all software that you, that you don't necessarily need, okay? <laughs> Got it? Now, if you want to go to the next level and you want to start spending some real money and you really are into this, okay, that this is the two that I recommend. If you live in a PC world or Mac, this is the Adobe one and it's called Adobe Premiere. You could get a full version. The stripped down version, the light or element version is 60 bucks, okay? But that means you, this is some, this is a heavy duty machine, okay? Right, so like if you are, this is like, a, uh, like the Ferraris of the world, right? That thing is like a Toyota Corolla. It does a great job, it'll get you there. Nothing too fancy, right? If you live in the Mac world, then I would go down this way, Final Cut Pro, okay? Camera guys, yes? Final Cut Pro, see, they're nodding their heads, they use it, right? I assume that one instead of Adobe, right? Use all Adobe, okay? So now, look at this one, 300 bucks, which I think that's roughly what the Adobe Premiere will do as well, the full version of them. But that means you are making full-on productions like this stuff and all that, and you don't need to. I played with them, and they're great, but you can do so much. And there was even just the newest app that just came out, and I loved you guys. Are you like the app people, like the app update person? You're like, what is it? Yes, new update, come on. Oh, bug fixes, terrible. I don't care about bug fixes. I want new wipes and transitions and filters and things like that. Filters came out on this. You got like, can you please show us this? All right. So um, let's talk about the videos. There's that one. There's that one. Let's do one. Let's play one. Let's not do any sort of techie fun stuff, but we're going to do like a, a, a reporter story. I'm going to pretend you're my social studies class. Ready? I got to teach. I got to do some background because I got to mix these two together. So you need to know your content. Here's my story. We're doing a lesson on the Industrial Revolu Revolution class. You ready? Labor. So here's the story of this famous painting. There's a factory. Everybody's tired of this awful conditions. Long work, hard, evil, bad, terrible. People get injured all the time. Yeah, factory owner, he doesn't care. Bad man, okay? This guy, I'm sick and tired of it all. And all of us go, yeah, he's telling the boss what to do. So we all start showing up. Yeah, boss man, we don't want to do anymore. Husband and wife sit, he's gonna do it. Yeah, and the wife shows up. Oh, what are you doing, honey? And she says, you better get yourself back in that factory. He's like, no, honey, we gotta take care of our kids. And she's like, you're not gonna have a job for our kids. You loser, get back over there. So who do you think my body posture is gonna win that fight? Have you ever walked up and you seen a dude with his wife in a conversation like this? He ain't winning, okay? <laughs> what about her? Let's put her with him. And her head's high and all of this space over here, which means that she may end up being kind of a single mom. Because once this all goes down, dude in the red shirt is going to end up being the guy in trouble because he started this whole thing. He could end up in jail or worse, okay? And all this can change because, I'm sorry, his, his, we want safer conditions. No, we want this. No, no, no. Everything from Mr., Mr., what was the guy from uh, Simpsons? What's his name? Mr. Smithers, right? Boss man, okay? Anyway, now this guy changes everything because the painting is called The Strike. And I do, a tw I do 30 minutes on this thing talking about the strike. That guy changes the strike and in 10 seconds the strike becomes, becomes the riot. Got it, you understand about labor issues? Nice, please come here. You're Mr. You're Mr. Rockman. Hi, oh you have to come on up please. I'll let you pick, you're gonna be right up front, you can pick your husband, okay? Let's have you, you're gonna be right here, right there, perfect. You're gonna stand right here and can you find your husband? Could be male or female, whoever you like. Uh, <laughs> Um, who feels comfortable standing on a chair? Who feels strong enough they can stand on a chair? Come on up, Randy, you're gonna be coming up here. All right. Um, where's my baby? I lost my baby. Stand on the chair, new hat for you. Here you go, Mr. Stern. Come on up here. Uh, no orange, because you're kind of red shirty here. Here you go. It's, yeah, perfect, that's good. It's a lot of brain in there, power. Just balance it on the top. Here you go, throw that jacket on top. Here, here you go, come on. Uh, who's your husband? Here's your husband, come on up. Rock man. Uh, I think we're pretty good. Can you stand here? I, I lost my baby, pretend you have a baby. Okay, uh, you're standing here next to Mr. Stern. All right, who's the husband? Husband. Husband, right here, please. Here you go. Throw that on. There you go. Nice. Uh -huh -huh. Here we go. Nice. You're, yeah, you're all yelly here. So you guys are going to freeze in position. There you go. Nice. There we go. Here we go. 
Rock, don't throw it, please. Okay, what do we got? I think we're good. I lost my baby. I had a baby. I've lost the baby. Okay, we are frozen in positions. You're here, point to the masses. You two right here, bending down, picking up a rock. I need a cameraman. No offense needed. No offense intended. Here we go. Camera person, ready? Here we go. Any camera. I'm showing you no stuff. I'm just opening up a thing called a camera. Okay? Video. Video. Here's what you are. You are all frozen until I touch you. When I touch you, you become the character. Are we ready? I have to change characters. I need to change characters. All right. Okay. <laughs> You're going to follow me, okay? You're my cameraman. You follow me, okay? Quiet, please, on set. Don't move, and then I need action. <laughs> and give me a little. Hi, this is Ryan, Action 3 News. We're live. We're outside Pennsylvania. It's 1863, and it seems like something's developing at the factory over here. Uh, come on, let's find out what's going on. Uh, hi, sir. Can I have a word with you? Oh, sure, sure. Sure, what's happening over here? Well, there's a strike going on, and the, the, boss, the big boss guy is trying to tell us what to do, and we're tired of it, and we're not going to do it anymore. And who's this over here? My wife, and she doesn't believe me. I don't understand what's going on here. All right, I'm going to have a word. Thanks a lot. Hi, Vince. Can I have a word with you? Yes, this is ridiculous. I have kids at home, and he wants to strike, and he just needs to go back and work and feed our kids. But what is the issues at the factory? Why is it so bad over there? I don't care. <laughs> okay, definitely seems like she doesn't care. It seems to be focused around these individuals over here. Uh, hi, uh, hi, sir. Can I have a word with you, please? Sure, sure. Sir, so uh, the, all these factory, uh, uh, are these your employees over here? They need to work. They, they say that, work. but they say that the factory is kind of unsafe over there. It's safe. They just need to work. They need to get their work done. What they about the reports that you say that you don't give them breaks? They get all the breaks they need. They need to work. Get back to work. What about the fact that th 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 they say that, that last week there was an incident where a guy got his hand cut off? He was slow. He was slow. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Sir, so what's going on in your opinion? <laughs> okay, so definitely sit like a very quiet leader. Oh, hi, miss. How are you? Good. Hi, lovely baby. So, so what are you doing here? Why are you on the outside? I'm going to be a single mom because my husband Okay, so it looks like uh, the, the, the strike is developing into something more serious. We'll report back as things. Hold on, I hear something's happening. Uh, oh, come on, over here, it's happening. Sir, can you tell me, what, what are you doing with that rock over there? I'm going to fix that. Oh, wait. You're going to do what? I'll fix him. We're not going to put up with this anymore. <laughs> All right, and so it looks like this, uh, this strike may get pretty uh, dangerous here. We'll report as more happens in Live Action 3 News. <laughs> Yay, nice job, everybody. <laughs> Did, just put your stuff all on the table there. Well done, well done everybody. I couldn't tell, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were. Okay, I thought for a second you were in character there. <laughs> Randy. All right, so now let's see some movie magic here, okay? What I'm gonna do here is, I got me a dongle. Phew, bad word for a thing that plugs into and switches. So now I'm gonna take here and here, so you should in a few moments be able to see what I see, is that correct? <laughs> there we go, nice. So, all you notice what we did there is I don't need any software, I don't need anything, that was called a camera, and it is what it is. We get creative by just some simple, silly little props that we can do, thrift store, I lost my baby. I just bought a new baby. <laughs> I bought a new baby, 75 cents from Goodwill, and I just lost her. <laughs> She's out there somewhere, I need to find her, anyway. So you can do some stuff with this. So let me show you some stuff that you can do. The simplest things, you record, upload. We did a little sort of project, easy to do, okay? You could get creative with what your subject material is, but let's fancify. So there's a lot of programs you can use. I'm gonna use a thing, uh, the one that comes, uh, the standard one, it's called iMovie, okay? And so you guys are gonna get to play with some of these, and I got, uh, this is my own one, there's a lot more icons on there. You're gonna wanna find a folder called video. Okay, I think they're on the bottom. But under video, you're gonna see a purple and white, a white star, white background, purple background, white star, iMovie, top left. You see that? And then what this brings up is the most simple, uh, a very simple editor. The high-end version ones uh, that you see are basically kind of the same idea. Is that if I go back and, come on here, let's start a new project. When you get to this scene, there'll be a lot, more, in the top right-hand corner, I'm gonna click plus and let's make a new movie. Okay, now look at here, I can do like themes. I'm just gonna keep this as a basic plain theme. In the top right hand corner it says create. And if, in tutorials there's a lot out there, YouTube, and I got some links for you as well that you can search and find a lot of YouTube, I'm sorry, iMovie tutorials. Now, 
what, it's, hard, it's kind of black, but you can see across the bottom is a timeline. Then I'm going to have a preview in the one corner, and then my files in the upper right corner. So I'm going to go in the upper right. It says video, photo, and audio. I'm going to go to video, show me all of my video, and it's bringing in all of my camera roll here. Okay. And up on the top today, it says there's a minute and 49 video. If I tap it once, it highlights it, and I can play it, or what does the arrow mean? Drop it down into my timeline. Okay. Now I go back and forth here like this, okay, with my finger. It's super long, so if I pinch, makes me zoom and I can see more of it. So now it looks that long. It's still a minute 49 long. I can go back to the beginning and hit play. Uh. All right, we can trim that. All right, so I want to back up a little bit. So now we need to do simple editing. Where my line is, the ta tag head, is that what it's called, video guys? Okay, that's where I want it to be. So I can tap it once, and if I grab the very end and drag it to the left, it will, what, what's that called, you think? Cut it or trim it. Another thing I can do in the bottom right is I can click the button that says split, and that will cut this into two pieces. Now there's two pieces of the video. It'll look the same, watch. Don't move it, then I need action. And now what I can do is click on that piece, and in the bottom right, I can click delete. Yeah. What I'll do is then I'll just, I'll show you the other, the other tool, which is click on it, and I'll just drag. See what I'm doing? And right there. So now when I hit play, A little bit more. There we go. Nice, easy to do, perfect. You know what I want to do? So if I click the picture, what else can I do? In the bottom, I can cut it. I can change the audio. What do you think the T stands for? Let's put some text on there, OK? Now, look at all these things I can do with my text. Awesome little templates. I can make them fly in, all this kind of stuff, blah, blah. I'm going to just blank. And I'm going to click, just leave it where it is, standard, and tap the text. What do I want to call this? Action 3 News. Done, and now that sits right there. I could change the other stuff if I want. Now the problem though is, what's the problem with this? It'll be there where? Hi, this is Ryan. Action it's going to be there the entire time. I don't want that. Right, so I may want to get rid of that a little bit. So, like if I tap the text, I can change the, you can change the location of it. Like let's put the text lowered. Oh, that looks better down there. Look at that, nice. I don't want it the whole time either. So let me go to like here, when we get to right there, I'm going to tap it. Remember when I split it? I'm going to split this into another piece and watch what happens now. Now it's two videos, so now it goes away. Now I can give him a piece. Yours, sure, I, in character. How dare you, sir? Let's put that on the lower and then we'll say, who are you? You are... Worker guy, <laughs> done, okay? And we go back to here. I got sticky fingers, it's hard. Fade out and fade in. Nice, okay? When you're finished with the whole thing, guess what you can do next? If I go back out to my main menu, I've edited it, and then what do you think that middle button does? To where? Upload. You can download the thing to your camera, to, to your iPad, and put it somewhere, or send it up, send it to YouTube. All done. Okay. There is so much. This is a simple program, but there's a lot of fun things you can do here. So, like, let's go back into. They have a thing. Remember the beginning? I showed you the templates. You can go back to templates. So watch this. Check this out. In the bottom right corner, there's a little gear guy. Look at my templates I can have. Now there was just a new update on all this. So I haven't even seen some of these. Like they just added filters. There was never filters before. I want to do a black and white. Oh yeah, black and white. Okay. 
You want to go back in the past and do old timey stuff like that? Black and white. That's what I've been wait, waiting for. Just give me black and white. You can change the speed. You can slow them down. Now watch this. So I can go to uh, uh, themes. Themes. Here we go. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Look at this one called the red one. CNN I report. Do I want to fade theme music? Yeah, I do. Okay, fade in from black. Yep. Hi, this is Ryan, Action 3 News. We're live in Pennsylvania. Thing. It's 1863, and it seems like the something's the developing at the factory over here. Oh, come on, let's find out what's going on. Uh, hi, sir. It does the cool, why does it, this new one do it? But it will do the graphics. It makes it look like a CNN reporter thing and all that kind of stuff. So really simple, easy to do. And that one I just call news report, time and pass, something like that. Any questions, thoughts? Cool, easy? What's the program? iMovie. It's just iMovie. Just iMovie, baby. Um, the, I noticed that there's a free version and a paid version. Okay, oh, sorry, yes. Uh, so here's the problem is they, they originally charged for iMovie. It was like five bucks. But then they decided, you know what, we're going to give it away for free. Only to the newer devices. Not the old devices. So there's a certain cutoff, and I forget where it is. Th these are available on iPads on iPhones, on iTouches, and it's the same program on all of them. But if you go pack to a certain iPhone 4 or 5, something, uh, 3, iPad, whatever, I have the I iPad mini one and it works. It's, a fr it's the free one, so um, if it's five, so, Dar, it's five bucks, it's five bucks, I'm sorry, because that's just Apple, what they, they do the thing sometimes. Okay, any other questions on that? Easy to do, fun, go to the thrift store, really cool. Next. That's an hour, right? We've been, we're done at three, is that it? Yes, 1.15, okay, good. So we'll get, we're gonna get rolling here in a little bit. Uh, book trailers, here's Jennifer's, here's my straight thievery, stealing of her stuff. So book trailers, and uh, here's the stuff from her that I've gotten. <coughs> Let me show you the example of what I have done, doing book, book trailers. Take this for example, okay? Do um, uh, you guys know this book, familiar with it? Yes, so let's do a book report on it. But now, how about let's do a book report like this? Okay, um, <laughs> uh, YouTube, uh, you know what also your camera and your iPads and all that stuff act as? They're scanners. Mm -hmm. So you grab a book and guess what you can do? Flip, flip, and now all of a sudden you've got a visual of every single um, uh, page or whatever the page that you want. All right, so I'm going to go into iMovie again, shocker. And let's make a new proj project. Is it up yet? It's coming. Come on. Top right corner, new project. I'm going to do, now check this out. I'm going to click on trailer. Those are movie trailers. So the movie one was just a blank movie. Trailer brings up all these kind of movie trailer themes. You know, and they're cool, but look. You hit play and it can show you a teaser of what it looks like. You can put pictures or video into these movies. All of the, the text you change, but the graphics and the length of time has to stay the same. Okay? That is the retro one. You can do the romance one. You change all these kind of things. Oh, romance. Okay. So all you got to do is add the content. It's kind of like when you buy Toll House and you make cookies. Did you bake cookies? I warmed them up. I didn't really technically make them. That's what this is a little bit, okay? So let me go to here. Let's go to Swashbuckler. Ooh. Then click Create. Okay. You can change all the details like in a script over here. If I go to Storyboard, look at this. It wants a video or a picture that will last for how long in the top left corner? Three point one seconds. The next picture or video will last 2.1 seconds. Two, three seconds, two seconds, you can't change the length and time on all those. If you tap them, it says, what do you want to add on there? And there's my photos. So I'm going to go to my photo gallery, and I'm going to start finding some pictures. I'm going to go back in time here where I got me some, ooh, where the wild things are pictures. I took screenshots of them all. The first picture is the cover of the book. Next. Then it says, give me a wide picture. I don't care. I'm just going to start clicking all these ones, one at a time. Can you do this in 
This is iMovie, not the plain movie, but the trailer. There's two choices, movies or trailers. Now inside these ones, you can change them too. You can zoom in on the pictures and out. And sometimes it'll be fast, like 0.9 seconds. You're like, oh, that's a really quick thing it can be on there for. So I teach the kids, sometimes if you want to put a lot of pictures, you can put one picture of a book in, but zoom in on that corner and then this corner and make it move and all that. Let's take a look and see what it looks like here. No, let's go here. The, the, the music is all preset as well. All right, so here it is. So you change that to whatever you want there. Easy to do? Let me go back and let me show you a real one that I did. So my daughter's a fourth grader. Sorry, fifth grader now. She did this last year for me. What's that? Yeah. So I, I hired her. I said, Rachel, that's it. I need you to make me a movie. She's like, what? This thing took her not very long. Here we go. Yes. Pardon? I was reading one of your videos. Ryan, the pretty princess. Yeah, I am a pretty princess. <laughs> all right. So Rachel did this all on her own, and I had her, you know, d uh, take the book itself. And so she wrote, she wrote the passages on there. I want to read that book. Do you? Yep. That's exciting. Now, the good part about that, super easy, awesome, and it looks really good, but remember that Toll House cookie thing. She didn't do a whole lot on that. That took her 10 minutes, okay? It's a nice thing, but I really kind of applaud Apple a little bit more than Rachel, okay? She put it together, whatever. Okay, so, but now let's do, let's pretend, let me go back here and do this. Let's go back to our movie. Let's make a new one, but instead of the trailer, you can do the same thing on your own, using the same program, but now let's give you a little bit more control. Maybe introduce them with the trailer, and now just do your own, kiddo. So here we go, blank. So now, instead of the picture being on there for 1.9 seconds, you choose how long. Instead of it being text, you can put text, and guess what else you can do? What other things you can add to it? You can now record other things. You can record yourself, okay? So let me go to my photos. And I can start dropping in some pictures here. Where's old wild things again? Here we go, here we go. Picture one. It defaults, I think, to three seconds every time you drop one in. And you can put in your own, you can put in music and all that. So now when I hit play, there it is. One, two, three, four seconds it looks like it defaults. There's the transition. So if I want to, I can make the pictures last longer or shorter, okay? But now, in the bottom right corner, next to the, I also have a microphone, so I can do this. It's gonna give me a sound check, sound check, how hot am I, red, and I hit record. This is the story of Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. And my name is Ryan O'Donnell, and I'm in fourth grade. And this is the story of my book that I just read, and I hope I get full credit for it. All right, got it. So do I like it? Click accept, and now I have the recording on the bottom, okay? And I can go back and now hit play. This is the story of Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak, and my name is Ron. Got it. So guess who I had, guess who I trained to do something? My kid, Rachel, trained her again. So now let's see Rachel's other version. Now, Rachel, this one took her 30 minutes. And can I find it? Too many movies. 
Wild Thing Rachel, I think is what it's called. Now here we go. So she did the transitions and zoomed in on certain things and all that. We can add some audio, some music in the background to make it a little bit more cool and all that. But now the next step is, and I, don't, I forgot it, I left my wild things are. So you make the video, guess what you can do with your finished video? You put it on YouTube, right? Do I need to worry about child internet protection, stalker, white van people? No, because it says Rachel and just her voice. So I don't need to worry about any of that. Now I put that on YouTube, then you know what a QR code is? So QR code is a visual link. So check this out, and I left the book at home, it's really cool. You print out that QR code. You take where the wild things are, you take the QR code, packing tape on the back, and then you put it in your classroom library, and now you have a library. When the kids pull out the books and there's a QR code on the back, beep, and all of a sudden, what does it do? It takes it straight to Rachel's video that she made. That's Common Core right there. You're writing for who? You are writing for all the kids who will ever be in your classroom and you have your own library made of, made of video so the kids can now go, hey, I want you all go through the library and you gotta be able to do, make your own movies. If there's a QR code, one's already been done. So now you've kind of made your own little uh, presentation. Book reports versus book trailers and all that. Thoughts, ideas? Yes, sir. Oh, ma'am, sorry, I'm still on it. <laughs> So here, I'll show you, this is how it works right here. Oh, let me switch. The a QR code you get from anywhere, I just got a built-in little Chrome extension, but you just copy the link and paste it. So here's Rachel's Where the Wild Thing Are in the book trailer. Anybody have a QR code reader on their phone that could pop, pop out real fast? Who? All right, can, so what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I have a Chrome extension in the upper right corner. See, it says generate a QR code. So here's the video. I'm gonna say make a QR code. So now can you zap that thing? And then all you have to do is copy and paste, put that wherever you want. So then you can also, uh, um, my goal in my history class is I love art, you saw the strike. So I am trying to be able to do videos for each. The School of Athens, the strike, and I want to QR code my history classroom so the kids can, people can go up and boop and get all that information about. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a documentary. Ken Burns was the guy who came up with this new, anybody see the uh, history nerds? He's got a thing called the Roosevelt's that's out right now on PBS. Oh, so good. Six hours about the Roosevelt's. So uh, he came up with the Civil War one back in the day and he, he's the one who made those pictures kind of move and do whatever. So let's take an example. Are we up yet? Can you guys see? Yes, no, there it is, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a little uh, Civil War documentary. No, let's do a Jamestown one. So, I'll start with Civil War. So if I, I made a folder of Civil War stuff, I don't want, in order to do this, what I would like, I'd preload stuff. Don't tell your kids to just go to the internet and find pictures. Like, preload your things, okay? Because that's a long deal. They're gonna have to go find stuff and they're gonna be terrible and all that. So I made a folder called Civil War Pictures. And if I wanna make a documentary, I can just start dropping pictures in there. And each picture is on there, like we said, for the three, four seconds. You can change them. Now notice how they automatically, we call it the Ken Burns effect. See how it slowly moves? Okay, you can change that. Drop a picture on there. Like see here, here's a picture. That's nice. Let's pretend it's Dateline. You ever seen Dateline? Okay, and this guy was doing To Catch a Predator. And now we do this. So now when you go to the beginning of it, it looks like that. Ooh, Dateline, this guy tried to get a van and anyway. So like we did before, I've made my documentary. I can put text on there and you narrate over the top of it. Narrate over the top, narrate over the top of it. This is the story of the Civil War, the most bloody and tragic war America has ever fought because they fought against themselves and it was on slavery and it was bad, okay? I would have scripts. The other thing that you wanna do is script things. Now for you lower, for the lower kids, this is what a great, great way to be able to script things. Just don't go Civil War, discuss. Make a script. So how about this? Get one of those little readers that you have, okay? And you copy them, you take out certain passages. The Civil War lasted from blank to blank, okay? 
Then the leader of the, 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 the Southern General's name was Robert Blank. Then they have to do simple research and fill in those blanks. When they have their finished script, come to me, good, here's your iPad. Now you guys can go off and record because you've done that. But you can differentiate even with your own classrooms about how much you want to do or just go. Okay, and have them do stuff. So I'm going to click accept. Let me show you what the audio looks like. So under audio, you can bring in your own. The sound effects in there are bad. You can bring your own. So I'm going to go to import it. I had to use Google Drive and Dropbox to be able to bring stuff in. But like, look at here. I can try some out. Civil War, -y, not too bad. How about this one? That's our money one right there. Yeah. Now, how awesome is iMovie? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Look what happens. I got my video on top. I got me talking and then another layer. Now, this is called auto ducking, right? Check this out. Check this out. Just listen. This is the story of the Civil War, the most bloody and tragic war America has ever fought because they fought against themselves. And it was on slavery and it was bad. Listen comes back up. You don't touch it. Now you can, but this is all in free or five dollars. You know what I mean? That's pretty crazy. Kim, another one. Come on. New movie. Kim, uh, I need a chair. Pull up a desk or something like that. You're gonna be a man. Actually, let's just have you stand if you don't mind. We're gonna change this. Instead of doing uh, Civil War, we're gonna do Jamestown. So, Jamestown, settlers, you know, you know Jamestown? Captain John Smith, and he had to take, lead these settlers, and he was tough, and, but if he wasn't tough, they would have died. No, but he was tough too. So here's all this early Jamestown stuff, yada, yada, yada. And I guess what I got here, check this out, check this out. There's Captain John Smith. So I'm going to put in here, I'm going to narrate over the top of it. Quiet, please. Here we go. We're going to record. Grab that silver helmet, please. Yes. Yes. This is the story of Jamestown, the first permanent settlement in the Americas. It lasted when other ones failed, all led by their captain, Captain John Smith. And I saved that, now that's there, got it? So now if I hit play, I could do this. Let me just reduce this one here a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we hit play, and you get this, everybody? It lasted when other ones failed, all led by their captain, Captain John Smith. <laughs> I don't want that, Captain John Smith. Come on here. I'm plugged in. Oh, it's different <laughs> on mine. Here we go. I am John Smith. <laughs> I am Captain John Smith. Well done, I believed you. I totally believed you. <laughs> it's awkward, but it's good. And then you come here and look at this. All led by their captain, Captain John Smith. I am John Smith. <laughs> I am Captain John Smith. It's everything, a scanner, a microphone, a video or a camera, documentary creator, it's everything. I told you, I sound like an iPad salesman, right? Right? So get, get creative. Chocolate peanut butter. It doesn't just have to be this. You can add other things into iMovie. It's just the thing that put things together. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So my daughter, Rachel, again, she's an app hoarder. It's a horrible condition. Okay? We've seen specialists, but she just hoards apps. And she's like, the iPad's full. I'm like, what the heck? Talking kitty this and Toka hair salon that. I'm like, this is awful. And then she's like, but look at this one, Daddy. You can make faces talk. You can put your picture and make the mouth move. And she's telling me this, and I'm thinking about who? Captain John Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yup, Captain John Smith. Where'd he go? So, Where did he go? you put up your picture, okay? I uploaded um, Captain John Smith. And all you do is you put a dot on the corner, the corner, and the mouth, and then you talk. And so you want to implement primary sources with kids, have them read the primary source that's in the book, and then you say export, save to your camera roll, and then what you do is you use your, this program to bring in. This doesn't have to be just iMovie stuff, it can be anything. Here we go. Here's Captain John Smith, ready? Look at that. See that?
Captain you can John. put there. Here's another one I called Your Talking Pet. You did that. I made my dog. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. You know, gonna eat that, uh, the glasses are real. The talking's me. Because if not, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind having a little uh, uh, a nibble. So anyway, <laughs> you can see how fun and creative and awesome it could be. You want to go a step further and crazier? Here we go. So now you may want to see this one, everybody, because I'm plugged in here. So this one is called Green Screen. And it's got a little uh, green screen guy. There's a couple of them out there. One's called green screen, the other one's called Do Ink. Same idea if you look, is that I have a, 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 a timeline on the bottom and then a preview. Remember the layers I showed you before? The audio track, you talking, and then the video? Those are three layers. But what if you did different video layers? Well, we did already. Video plus the text on top, that's two layers. But you can make this program let those layers be other things. So I'm going to pick the background, the bottom layer. I say, let's make that into a, wrong button, I'm struggling. Let's pick a still image. This is very daily show if you've seen it, right? They send reporters to faraway places. They don't, okay? <laughs> they just put a, vi a, a video that's sitting there. So I'm going to go to my photos, and I have saved a picture of, oh, let's go back to far, long time ago to a magical land called where they had pyramids, and I'm stalling, Egypt. So do you see the background? So that is just a picture of Egypt that I want to make sure nobody was in, so that it could kind of look like it's a video. Then I have other pluses. So now, and you also see there's a wheel up there. You see that, that's a color wheel? There's basically three colors you can pick, blue, magenta, or green. We're gonna make that color disappear. So now, what do you want to disappear? What's the next layer, a camera or a video? I'm going to click on camera, okay? Now, that's you guys. You see y'all? But if anything is green, green will disappear. So what we're going to do now is here. What was your name again? I'm sorry, first name? Sam. Have a seat there, would you? <sighs> Sam, 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 Sam. What do I got for you? Sam, Sam. Where's my Sam? Uh, arm up. One arm. There we go, there we go, hand down, <laughs> Sam, Sam, here we go, nice job, Sam, all right, can you scoot back, Sam, you want to come behind me, you want to see this, this is pretty cool here, so now, camera's on me, everybody, okay, let's switch the camera to the other direction, you see that, I'm going to pick the color green, okay, so now, you all seeing that, ready, ready, watch, look at the green, the green has become ancient Egypt. Oh my gosh, I see Sam. Now I should have a tripod because Sam moves, but Egypt doesn't. Sam, you gotta be Pharaoh Sam. I am Pharaoh Sam. The pyramids behind me demonstrate my power over these people and they will honor me. Quiet please, we're gonna record in five seconds when I nod you're on. Four, three, two. I am Pharaoh Sam. Look at my pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right, so you're done. You're done. Pharaoh Sam. <laughs> All right. That's oh, looky, looky, looky. All right. So I can preview it. I can say save this video. So it's going to save it and go to my. Go to what, everybody? My camera roll where all my stuff goes. Woo, it was saved. <laughs> what program do you think I can put this into? iMovie. And then I could add other stuff to it. But let's just play it from here. I am Uh-oh. Anyway, you get the idea. We got 20, 35 minutes. You want to play? So there's three things I think that you can create. I think you, you got the skill, people. You can, if you want, make yourselves a book trailer. Okay, I don't know if we have many books around here. Grab some algebra. It's algebra. We had to pick a math class. Okay. You can see if you want to be able to uh, uh, make yourself a little book trailer. Play around with the trailers on these in iMovie. Okay. Second thing you can do is try to doing some documentaries. 
the iPads that I have are, have the Wi-Fi, they're not logged in, so if you want to uh, log each one into using the password and stuff like that. These ones all have those programs on there. If you get so creative and you feel like you want to dabble in the old magic of a green screen, people, I came, I came. You want to be a colonial person, you want to be a, a Roman, okay? My favorite, of course, is this here. You do, uh, you do, uh, yeah, come on, get up. All right. Do that filter, that black and white, and you, and you, right there, you got the gas mask. There we go, right there. World War II, okay? Are you ready? Why is nobody tweeting this out? Somebody please take a picture of me. This needs to be tweeted. Got it. You got it? Awesome. On Cap 214, okay? Not easy to breathe on that one. Hey, and my favorite day's coming up too, if you really jump into this stuff, because guess what this is, people? Guess what that is? Huh? Guess what happens on November 1st? Sale. Sale time, right? <laughs> Go to Spirit Halloween, and you can find, actually the first, what I realized, it's not, it's 25% off the first day, second day, and then there's like one day that everything's like 50 or 75% off. You gotta go in that like third day after Halloween. You can start getting some awesome, crazy kind of costumes. I cannot tell you, some kids get intimidated, some kids relish it, but you put a pair of Viking hat, uh, horns on a kid, they change, right? You change a little, you become characters, it gets awesome. So, I think we're good to go, you ready? Oh, iPads, you need iPads. Okay, here we go. Oh, I didn't get the stop motion. If we're lucky, maybe the last 10 minutes, oh, stop motion. Let me tell you about stop motion. George Lucas did all the blue screen stuff, but you know what he, when he had those things move, he borrowed the old school ideas when special effects first happened. When they had the dinosaurs move in movies, guess how they did it? One step at a time. Film it, film it, film it, film it. One at a time. Well, guess what you can do? Guess what you can do? Where'd he go? Here we go. Legos are awesome. So, or anything that you want, you set up a camera and here you go. And then one step at a time, one frame at a time, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture. Then they all move together. It's basically the flip books that you bought at Disneyland when you were a kid, right? All those things move together. You can make a movie, and I'm gonna show you some amazing examples that you can do, okay? And guess what the iPad has? What? Stop motion apps, okay? <laughs> Instead of just taking pictures, there's a whole app for it to be able to picture, picture, picture. Here are my iPads. I'm not a salesperson, but if you're so inclined, I found a, t a teacher in Los Angeles, he did a Kickstarter project, the greatest cases ever. So this is called iOgrapher, they're like 65 bucks. They do them for iPad and iPad minis, okay? It's just a piece of plastic. It's got a screw on the bottom, so you can add to any of those big old fancy pachonky, okay? You got these little shoes, and I got microphones you can attach, put on screw and lenses, but you take this, snap it into it, now you have a handheld. Even if you don't use the screw, I have a stand for the thing, okay? And now you have these kids, so you can go to the, hey, you can do the rally, you can do the assembly, and the kids become their ultimate little, um, Recorders, I teach history, but two years ago they gave me the broadcasting class. I'm like, I don't know this stuff. And I go, give me some iPads. And so now this is what we did. Snap this off, green screen, all this kind of stuff. So now you're shooting, editing. And so I did our school announcements basically on iPads, okay? Yeah. So you're using YouTube school tube? So we use YouTube. I tried school tube and teacher tube for a while. School, YouTube's just, the, just awesome, just the best that it is. Our district is one of the Google Apps for Education districts. So because you're Google Apps Red, you get a YouTube channel. You know, you get your YouTube accounts and you upload your videos. Everything's super fantastic there, HD video and all that kind of stuff. So feel, the, feel free to play along with these. I have one, two, three, four. I think I got another one charging. So if you got your own and you want to play around with it, I got like six of these ones and I got, uh, I'll be walking around helping you. You can use mine too. Any questions? Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Now, I don't have an iPad for everybody, so I did this. Hey, one, someone's going to be a producer, someone's going to be an editor, and someone's going to be a, a, the, a narrator. So they get their roles. I had given them the primary sources and, or images to pick from, and they don't know them. So I gave, I, there's a little beat, uh, piece about each one. So I did this thing on the Black Death. Like, okay, they don't know all these things. So here's this artwork, and here's a little paragraph about it. Okay, Then what I did was put them all on like a PowerPoint slide in color and made them tiny. Then I printed them in color, then laminated the whole thing and cut them into small, small little pieces. So they have real pictures to pick from. 
I don't want them researching, I think I said. It's too long to research and find music and find all this stuff. So you know what? Give it to them and give them choice. Here's 20 pictures. you got to pick 12. Okay? You, and, and then you pick the order of them. Then this is how it worked. I had one, one, one student was in charge of learning iMovie for like 10 minutes. Another one was in charge of deciding which pictures to pick. And the other one was the researcher, okay, and the one who's starting to write the script. Once they're all done, then they collaboratively write the thing together. But she knows the documents. She's ordering them. She's got the program. Now they can come together because if it's just one iPad and three kids, only one finger at a time. So now they all got their stuff. Then they break up. And the nice part, if you notice, you could be in different places. They, they didn't make the greatest Hollywood movie in the world because we were talking, but they don't, you won't pick it up that much. We don't need to have everybody quiet and go to a sound studio. The microphones are pretty good on those things or just this kind of area around you, okay? And then you create these videos and all that kind of stuff, yada, yada, yada. Remember this picture? So uh, let me show you. This is kind of the stuff that I ultimately did. I took green screen, did that, okay? Put them into some magical places. So now take a look at this. Does not exist. That's awesome. Wonderful. Can I show you, if you want to end up, and you want to go to the next level and do the, uh, like look at here, here's this. Take a look at this kid, TJ. Good morning, China, and welcome to CNN, the Chinese News Network. I'm TJ Chang, and today we have an exclusive with, on the Emperor's Treasure Fleet. First off, we have Danny interviewing Zheng He. So just on a green wall, Danny. same video yes, now. that's it. Same video, check this out. <laughs> Let's put this, let's add a little something to that, and let's go here. Same video with a different background. Had some kids look around, find something, and look at that. Good morning, and welcome to CNN, the That's Chinese the same video. News Network. I'm TJ Chang, and today we have an exclusive with on the Emperor's Treasure Fleet. And now let's First cut. off, we have Danny background interviewing Zheng Danny. Thank you, Chang. Hi, I'm Danny, live at the Forbidden right. City, interviewing Easy, Zheng fun, creative to do. Three layers, so, background, Zheng. the kids, and the text in front. Okay. Then, let me just show you. This one's super, I mean, just the, the thing I did last, this last year, which was, which was a challenge but fun. Oh, where are you? Check out this one. This was a process. I decided my favorite painting in the world I took it and I photoshopped all the main characters out. <laughs> then I filmed each group separately. Okay? Ha ha ha. They think they can win this. I put them inside the picture. These kids are not in the same period. But I'm thinking about them when I'm going He's on He's on a Monday, well, she's on a Tuesday, I feel. I put them all together. This I needed the Adobe Premiere for. Lives. I want okay? our children to have a better But lives. they are all frozen in time that. and I recreated that and made it real. Okay. How dare he, he think he can go a fight in some stupid too. revolt and leave me and my seven kids starving? What is he going to do when we die of starvation? The nerve and selfishness of him. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do being a widow all by myself with no job and no money. What does he think he's going to do? Go die and leave me and my kids all alone? The nerve of him. That's awesome. She went right back to it. Well, how that really looked was like this, though. There is the picture. Now this was, I'm nerdy, I like Photoshop, and so check that out. I took all the main characters out, okay? That took a little while, okay? Not the greatest in the world. There's some, I see some mistakes in there, but, right? Then I did this. We got dressed up, that's what some of these costumes were, and we went to a, you know, we did blue, and you can see we independently shot them all and showed them how to do stuff, filmed them all, and put it all together. Pretty amazing. This is what Adobe Premiere looked like the elements version, and you can see lots of different layers. You guys were a great group, thanks everybody.